Well, good morning, friends. I hadn't planned to vlog today. I actually thought I would vlog tomorrow. But as I was sitting here this morning filling out my simplified planner, I realized I had some things today that may make for, you know, an interesting viewing kind of vlog. So, um, this is my simplified planner. I'd originally got this because of the hourly layout. I, as you can see, I have not filled it out today. Um, I am a stay-at-home mom. I'm a homeschooling mom. I don't necessarily need the lines of, of time. Um, I always know we'll have lunch around noon. I start my dinner prep at 4 p.m. We eat like 5, 5.30. And everything else in between is just loose and I just don't need a time. I bought this because I thought we'd have... Um, a new little one this year um, and I thought the lines would actually be helpful keeping track of like you know breastfeeding and poopy diapers and just it might actually be more beneficial to have the time slots so in the name of actually owning this I am using it but it's not my favorite I actually have my um, Erin Condren planner here and that is like my ride or die I love that thing um, but it doesn't give me a lot of space to fill out for my for my whole days like you know for all the things that I want to write out um, I use a horizontal planner and they just give you like a few strips for each day um, and you know obviously I have a lot more on here so I just want to take you through a little few things that I want to do today I know that not all of this is going to get done but it really just does feel good to brain dump it out we have been gone um, since Friday night we've spent the weekend at my in-laws house. Um, yesterday, my sister-in-law had her baby. Um, so it's just, we haven't been home. So I have a lot to do as far as getting um, things put away in the house reset and things that I would have done on the weekend did not get done. So I'm carrying them over to here on Tuesday because we got home like last night. So my hope is to do some baking and I want to get that done this morning. Um, I don't think I'm going to do all of this this morning, but I do want to make the pumpkin bread because we are low on just typical lunch things and I think this will be something good to have in my kiddos lunch. I do want to make some muffins. I've got um, a recipe for sour cream blueberry muffins. It's my favorite recipe and I've got sour cream and that needs to get used up. So I do want to go ahead and make those. And then I have a recipe for some chocolate muffins. I've made those here on my channel before. Um, use this whole wheat pastry flour. Um, but I think I'm going to... This is a lot of bready stuff. So I'm going to throw some of these just in the freezer. But I want to use up some of these ingredients. We've got laundry to do today. So we've got laundry from the weekend. And just... Um, I caught most everything up before we left. But a lot of it needs put away and you know of course there's lots of things always to do laundry is never ending um I didn't get to change my sheets so I need to do that um I have to renew some library books um I need like I mentioned we're low on some things so I'm gonna start a grocery order Shane is away um so I don't have a vehicle we're just a one vehicle family for now um so anyways, my father-in-law offered to go pick up groceries for me. So he might take the kids out tomorrow to go to like this um, indoor play place thing. And I might start a grocery order so that can be picked up tomorrow. But I also need to meal plan first. Um, I basically need to reset my home. So we walked in and everything looked beautiful and wonderful and clean and nice. But with all of our stuff <laughs> everywhere, things need reset. Um, that includes like taking out the garbage, doing the dishes, um, just, you know, making everything nice and lovely. Disney planning, I am just, I'm taking full advantage of all of the planning. Y'all know I love to plan, so um, there's that. And then I need to cut some heat transfer vinyl. So that's kind of what I've been doing in my evening. I have got my cricket here on the homeschool table. And my, that's my breakfast. <laughs> um, but I've got my cricket here because I'm cutting out vinyl for some t-shirts that we're making for our trip. And I've cut out some already, but I want to have all of the vinyl cut so that when the t-shirts come, I can weed everything and then press it onto the shirts. So I'm just kind of doing that in steps and stages. 
So um, I also want to take time this evening to read. I just really want to make more time to read in my life. I love to read and I just have been sucked way too much into all things electronic and not taking that quiet time to actually read. And then um, the Proverbs 31 minister is doing a devotional and it's on the book. It's not supposed to be this way and I need to catch up on that because that book's really great. I've read through most of it already um, and I want to make sure that I'm keeping on track with the study. So of course we've got some homeschooling today and I've got my dinner ideas written down. I want to try, guys, I've been going to bed at like 1am. It's been terrible. Um, I really want to try and get my electronics off at 1030 and have lights out at 1130. So this hour will give me time to take on my makeup, fill my diffuser, like get myself ready for bed and then actually have some good time to read. So that's the hope. This is earlier than what I normally do. So I'm really going to try and stay on track today to get things done and I can make that happen because my evenings I find that I just want to like do my own thing and I crave that time to myself um, and I just really enjoy what I'm doing in the evening which is a lot of getting ready for Disney um, I'm watching like packing vlogs and like working in my planner and doing all the crafty things and that's so fun for me and I don't want to stop so I'm just trying to remember and on my old phone I actually had it wasn't an alarm but you could set your phone to tell you like when it was time to shut down um and I don't have that setting on so I'm gonna see if I can find that setting or just set an alarm in general to remind myself because I'll get going and then I'm not going to want to do that um I got some Trim Healthy Mama sweeteners and different things, um, so I definitely want to make a dessert because your girlfriend is craving something sweet, and I've done so good. I haven't had a single um, sweet thing in like over a week, and I'm feeling really good about that, so I'm just trying to kick that, like the sugar and all of that, So, um, but I am craving something sweet, so I have a cookie dough cheesecake recipe in mind to make for this trim healthy mama dessert and then i've been listening to a podcast this morning and it is um mondays with Susie larson and she uh has craig rochelle and then johnny i can't remember her name johnny i don't know I want to say Erickson, but I don't know if that's right. Um, anyways, they're talking about, you know, hard things in life. And I really like Craig Rochelle. And he said, this quote, his grace is enough and it's okay to hurt out loud. And um, just some reminders of me for me for, for all things grief. So um, anyways, I am going to go and start my pumpkin bread and get that in the oven and then go grab a shower. Okay, so... This morning, all of the counters were clear and everything looked lovely, but um, breakfast happened and all the things happened and it doesn't look so great anymore. And I actually have these things I gotta get into another part of the house. One was gonna go in Aubrey's room and then the other was gonna go, I don't know where, I'm thinking maybe my closet, I don't know, but they've just been there because I haven't had a spot. But. Um, I need to tidy up the kitchen because it's a disaster. So I'm going to get that done and then we'll start on our pumpkin bread.
Hi guys, I'm back in the kitchen again. Um, it hasn't been as productive as a day that I hoped it would be, but you win some and lose some. Um, I'm back in the kitchen though, I'm gonna make something else. As I mentioned earlier, I'm craving something sweet and I am out of heavy whipping cream and chocolate chips, like, uh, like, <laughs> chocolate chips that would be appropriate for doing like low carb eating, trim healthy mama, keto, that kind of thing. Um, normally I would just like chop up like a 85% um, chocolate bar, but I don't have one of those either. And uh, every recipe that I'm finding that really looks good that I have the ingredients for all need chocolate of some sort. I don't have chocolate. So I finally found, um, a recipe that I'm gonna make it's actually a chocolate cake but it's it uses defatted um, peanut flour and I have a ton of that and I pretty much have all of the ingredients so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to make that um, because it requires um, baking cocoa and you can actually like if you needed like baking chocolate you can convert this there is a conversion here on the back of just my baking cocoa um, to make up for like if you don't have baking squares but the recipes I was looking for needed like chocolate chips of some sort so anyways does that make sense probably not because your girlfriend needs some sweetness in her life she's craving it so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt this recipe I'm really hoping it turns out it actually calls for two round cake pans I don't have those um when in one of my Last videos I shared with you my meal planner and in the back here is a baking conversion chart. So if you don't have two round cake pans, it tells you what you can use. And so I'm gonna use either an eight by eight square pan or I'm going to use the muffin tins. I haven't yet decided. I don't really wanna deal with muffin tins and make cupcakes, but we might do that. It's all up in the air at this point. I don't have to make those decisions quite yet, but I've got my ingredients assembled and I'm just gonna go ahead and make this. I'm not gonna film it because I just need to get it done because I'm getting a little crazy, you know what I mean? Let me show you outside really quick. We are supposed to be getting between 15 and 25 centimeters. They're calling for a lot of snow in the next day or two and it has begun so it looks really fine in the air right now and it doesn't come up quite as much as it is here in person but we're battening down the hatches and all I know is I need to get some groceries of some sort because I'm really craving frosting and all the frosting recipes call for heavy cream. I'm dying. Okay, so here's the cake before putting it in the oven, and I have done a taste test. I've found that you need to do a taste test. If you are baking anything like a Trim Healthy Mama recipe or low carb keto, that kind of thing, because it's different. Like it's just, it's different ingredients, it's um, different sweeteners, uh, the whole nine yards. It's, you just have to taste as you go, and it's really good <laughs> and I find that if um, the cake batter or whatever tastes good the end product is gonna taste great as well so just always give it a little taste test so you're not surprised at the end when it comes out of the oven and you're like oh this is not sweet enough or this is too sweet um, you can always adjust that sort of thing so every taste every palette is different where a lot of us are just you know used to regular white sugar I know that's what I grew up on and it's still love white sugar um but it doesn't love me back so anyways um i'm just gonna wait for the oven to beep it'll beep in a second here and then i've got to clean my kitchen again it's a mess so this is my kitchen and i guess this is what happens when you're in your kitchen doing baking i'm gonna go ahead and start the dishes and then i'm gonna um probably make those blueberry muffins I'm thinking because that's a really quick easy recipe and get all of those clean dishes away oh it's just never ending so I'm getting some eggs here on the stove I'm gonna hard boil them up 
You can probably hear my son in the background. He is screaming because he does not want to clean up. He hates it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and mix up the frosting and get my meatballs in the oven. I pulled these out of the freezer earlier today and I can cook these from frozen. Um, so I'm going to get those in the oven as well. Okay, so I went and pulled out some dinner for tomorrow. I will probably eat, um, I don't know if I'm going to eat this. I can't remember if there is off plain ingredients in here. This is the Sloppy Joe mix. It, or it is Sloppy Joe mix, um, and it is from the Pioneer Woman. I don't think I put, her recipe calls for sugar. I don't know. I'm going to have to relook at her recipe and see if this is something I can eat. Because I know she puts sugar in hers. I never really do that sort of thing though, so I can't remember. Anyways, I pulled it out of the freezer. Aubrey's been really wanting Sloppy Joes. So um, I also have these buns that were in the freezer too. So the kiddos will eat the buns and um, if I can have this, I will eat this. And just, you know, on a plate. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, okay. So anyways, yeah, pulled that out of the freezer. Yeah, can you get it? Oh man, can you kick it? Okay, now try. Whoa. Kick it again. There you go. Go on the other side and do that. There you go. Good job. Can you bring it over? y'all like okay there should be three stairs here my son is walking on top of ice I can't get it. okay sisters come so the snow is actually quite deep but we had freezing rain and it was quite the thing it froze everything everything is covered in a layer of ice and even though that was about a week ago, it's still nuts out. Um, and so the kids are having a big, getting a big kick out of kind of walking on top of the snow. So if you can see the playhouse windows, um, there's a significant amount of the playhouse that's under snow and that slide is about a little bit t as tall as Aubrey and it's definitely taller than Colt and look, they're both, it's the top of it, it's fun. So here is the cake, it turned out so good. Just nice, very, very nice. Um, and here's the frosting. Guys, it is so good. I'll leave the recipe link, of course, down below so you can check this out. This is, I think it's keto friendly. Um, it's trim healthy mama friendly and it is delicious. Okay, so here's dinner for tonight. Um, pumpkin bread for the kiddos. Um, broccoli, they both hate cooked broccoli. Um, these are pea, what is it, pea flour, um, pasta noodles, is that what they are? Hold on. Yeah, green pea pasta. So this is green pea pasta, um, with some marinara, some meatballs, homemade meatballs, um, Parmesan cheese, and then I did cottage cheese. So this is the first time they're gonna eat cottage cheese and I put some raw honey on it so hopefully they'll like that and then this is my plate whole bunch of broccoli and meatballs and sauce so there's that moment at the end of the evening when you've done the pee dance for an hour and a half just waiting to go to the bathroom but there's so many things to do and cleaning up and trying to get kids in bed and you finally get them off to bed and you go to the bathroom and as you're in there someone's jiggling the handle because they need to use it and I'm going I put you people to bed that's my night 
So anyways, um, I think I'm gonna call it quits. I am tired and I think I'm just gonna relax tonight. I had plans to like craft and stuff like that, but oh, I just am not feeling it. I'm pretty tired. So I'm gonna say good night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.